Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to the video. Diving into something new here. I'm going to be playing Across the Obelisk, a deck building roguelike where you build up a group of people. You don't really build them up, you choose them. Uh, but you choose your group of people and uh, you kind of go in. They all have their own classes and specialties, and you can level them up and that sort of thing. So it's really cool. You'll be able to see a whole bunch of it uh, in this video. So please enjoy. It all started on the princess's 16th birthday. When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree, announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. This is the story of one of those groups. And that is where we come in. Start off, usually start off in an area, go to the first town sort of thing. And uh, you do your thing here. Usually you can keep some money or you can claim some stuff from your previous run. So that's kind of nice as well. Helps you kind of boost up your runs thereafter. Uh, you've got a big town upgrade board here. You earn these little crates here, these supplies. You get all these different things that you can do. Runs in this game do take up quite a bit of time. So I wouldn't be surprised if this run gets broken down into... You know, maybe a handful of videos or a couple of videos or something like that. Because there's a lot of stuff. There's some prep. You know, you got to go in and buy your items, your cards. Um, depending on where you're at, the selection is uh, is pretty limited for the most part at the beginning. But as you go along and you unlock stuff with this town upgrades, you know, you'll be able to buy more rare cards in the first town and stuff like that. So. Other than that, you've got uh, a forge here in town. You can craft cards. You can remove cards at the church. You can upgrade cards at the altar. Usually a couple of different upgrade routes per card, so you have a little bit of way to kind of go one way or the other, depending on what you'd like to do with the deck. The uh, Zingarian cart. Uh, this allows you to kind of do a draw, a uh, round of draws for cards much like you would get after you complete a battle or something like that. You'll get a list of things that you can pick from, choose some cards to add to your deck, pretty normal stuff, and um, an armory tent, which is weapons. Uh, each character can be equipped with weapons. You've got weapon, armor, accessory, um, potion, I think, or etc. I'm not really sure what they claim. Accessory, okay, sorry. So this is jewelry, accessory. My apologies got the wording mixed up and uh in pet as well pets are uh, are available and those are cool too won't get into too much of that right now gonna kind of leave this and just kind of embark on the journey everybody's got a job to do although you can mix the party composition up it does have recommendations but uh we'll stick with this for now and we'll go the bottom route i, I have no doubts that we're gonna end up doing more than one of these because the way it works is you're going to level up add skills to your character and then progress more so usually you know your first run is going to be uh a pretty rough go it's more th more than likely that it will be all right He 
You see how we've got like our, uh, our mana or energy or whatever you want to call it down here. The yellow is what you've got. The green is what you're getting on your next turn. You can save and preserve. You know, if you don't use any cards next turn, I'd have seven for this guy. So it's kind of nice like that if, you know, you can preserve your energy. So, you, you know, in case you don't need it. There's times where you'll get a handful of uh, full of block cards or, or something to that effect and you won't need it. And, you know, games like Slay the Spire or something like that, um, you're going to lose your energy, right? It's just going to reset the next round. So you're like, oh, I should spend it for nothing or, or just not bother. This doesn't work like that. It kind of gives you that leeway to save it over to the next round, which is nice. All right, now this is a hand size base card, so we want to cast this early so we can get the full effect of it. Some zero cost. After you start leveling the characters, um, someone like Evelyn here, you're gonna focus into the elements that you want to use. And typically it will kind of, it, the way that I like to follow is that it will give you hints on the direction that you should be going with the character based on their default cards, right? So, it will kind of give you uh, an idea of what you should be using, what types of cards, right? You know, if you come in and you've got a character full of fireballs in their deck, you don't want to level up their ice skills. Or maybe you do. You know, maybe that's, maybe that's the plan, but... think anybody needs heal great um, example there of not not really wasting any of the extra get these attacks out there you can hang on to that extra one that you you know you need or you don't maybe Get some extra mana over to the healer here. That's what we're doing with these. Granting some extra mana. See, he's got his next recharge is charging up here. You're seeing that down on his little bar there below. I'd say we can probably just go straight at this guy with all the mana we've got left. Get a little heal at the end of the round anyway, and... As I had mentioned before, the uh, the divination here, where you get to grab a card or take some shards. Grab a little blur card for some invisibility there. I think I'm just going to leave that one as well as this one. All right, what will we do? You arrive at a small lake where some local werewolves are fishing. One of them approaches you and says, Hey, do you want to participate in our little fishing contest? The entry fee is 60 gold, and you will triple the gold if you win. The rules are very simple. We all compete, and the group that gets the biggest fish wins. And of course, cheating is not allowed. Oh, really? I will cheat and use special bait. Let's pay the 60. Let's do it. Let's do it. Where's that special bait? I'm the only one who got baited. Low self-esteem, a shameful reminder that something didn't go as planned. You don't say. What a guy, this ranger guy. Getting us into trouble. Ah, it's all good. I can cheat. I'll figure it out. 
<laughs> Look at it. I'll sort it out. Don't worry about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Not too happy about the whole cheating thing, huh? I'd say not. Let's see if we can get some uh, some defense up on our tank there. Ooh, that was a big shot. To the healer there. Up into the shadows we go for the next round, waiting for the next round to, to do anything with him. Get everybody some defense and go to work here. Hang on to that extra one as well. I'll carry that over. I got good defense here, so no reason to go blasting that all away. Go with this guy and wait for the first guy's shields to drop instead of wasting. Might as well. this off strong here I'll go to work give him some extra mana for next round for heals and end her turn didn't want to do much damage just gonna dish out some and hopefully we score some good heals with him I'll take it that's fine I'll take it I didn't get as many heals as I would have liked, but that's fine. Ooh, Uproot is really nice. This can be super handy. Really good one, because those uh, thorns, they get really, really troublesome. If an enemy starts stacking them up, they can become a real problem real quick. All right, we've got some corruption here. This is just uh, the option to do a slightly harder version, or in some cases, depending on the rating here on the bottom left, a much harder uh, challenge to get, you know, a reward card or, you know, one of these two options here. I'm going to say no to that because I do not want to deal with the, uh, the tougher monsters, at least not at this point. Save one extra for next round, because this boar here is going to die from the uh, bleed. <laughs> I love that goat sound, or the sheep sound, rather. Save 
those up. There we go. And some nice blocks there. And that should do it. Nothing I really want out of these. I'm not seeing anything uh, real amazing in here that I'm super hyped over. That's a nice one. The uh, the binding heels really nice, especially when upgraded. You can see here the upgraded versions. I'm gonna grab that. Rest. Ooh. Hmm. Let's take a fast divination. See if we can score some goods in here. What is this? Oh, I like that. I like that. It's not really like built for this guy, but I do like the idea of it. All kinds of extras. Let's take it. Why the hell not? Sneak peek is pretty darn cool. I don't think I'm going to take anything here. Dispel bleed and poison. Yes, please. The sacred pigman. You enter a small chapel near the forest border. It appears to have been recently looted. You hear a noise behind some benches, and then a trembling voice says, Link, are they gone? Link, Yugger wants to eat me. He sent his werewolves for me. Please, please, Link, help me. Defeat Yogger so I can leave this chapel. I am a very capable priest, and I will help you in your future travels, Link. The sacred pig man is dressed as a holy priest. Otis, calm down. What are you doing here? Are you sure it was Yager who did this? Oh, seems like he's happy to see Magnus. Yager's up to no good here. All right, looks like uh, Yager's or um, uh, the guy's got some. Uh, I don't. What's his name? Priest dude. All right, what do we want? Hmm. Twenty-two heal once per combat, damaged by others. Let's do that for him. Pebble, every turn, cast Pebble Throw? Hell yeah. Do it up. She's got resistances. Mm, that for you. Sure. That looks good. Take the bottom route. I'm taking the low road. Taking the low road. Nice. The invis and the mark straight out of the gate. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. It's got some of those uh, thorns there now, see? Handy when we're able to pull those off. Get rid of those ASAP. All right, works for me.
Right. Some defense for everybody. Oh, darn, I should have used that other one. I want to get some more over the healer. Because they are healing too, and that's a problem. Check and see what they've got planned. Yeah, they're healing. Plans to heal. Won't get rid of the bleed though, I don't think. Yeah, yeah, the bleed stays. Oh, but the regen, nine regen to counteract it. Bummer. down. Hmm. Oof, they're focusing the hell out of the healer. Old Reginald's not having a good time. How you doing back there, Reg? do it. Man, what a long drawn out battle with these healers. No, no, no. That's fine. No, that's fine as well. And no. And no. Bring a safe place for the ritual to end. Hmm. Something weird going on here. Let's just leave. I'm not feeling very good about that after getting beat up like that, so. Okay, okay, let's do this. Uh, blood charges, bleed charges, one, yeah. Got that there for you, okay. Slingshot every round. Yes, for you, fine. All heroes recovered. Three, good, another one of those, I will take it. And, yes, let's see. Let's do that. No, I don't want any extra challenges here. <laughs> this is hard enough as it is without anything leveled up. These guys are immune to my crap. My bleeds. And just hang on to those, I guess.
Do their thing, I imagine heal. We need to stay on that healer and get her out of there because two healers is a problem. Almost gone. I'm gonna take the shot with him and just get rid of it. We know that uh, healer's got something coming here. This is gonna go front, so. Fence up as we can here. Pick this guy out. Oof. Man, that hits a lot. Take this dryad out. Would do the bleed, but it doesn't, uh, they're immune to it, so uh, you can't really get past that immunity. Not easily, anyway. Here's a nice heal. Bulk heal. Heal X. X equals your discard pile times three. I like those ones. Get that towards the end and your end of your deck when you're about to redraw. Whew. Handy. Critical success.
Everybody defend it up a bit. Everybody defend it up. See, that's where it's important to save, right? There's no need to cast anything else there other than what you had. One hit away. All right, the lightning did it. Good. Let's get some resistances here. Get some resistances up here. I gotta cut those thorns off too. the extra one, do a little bit of damage and save the extra one, I think is the way to go there. She has a lot of nice cards for granting mana, so she always has a nice big surplus. You can usually pick up some pretty Pretty heavy damage cards, like high cost cards with her. Hmm. Go, we're doing pretty well here so far. some of his goons here. That's not good. They all have thorns. That's going to be a problem. I should have marked him first. Damn it. Definitely should have marked him first. Take him out pretty quick, hopefully. Nice big discard 
pile heal here. Ugh, those thorns. Ugh. Looks like the thorns are the least of my problems right now. Holy crap. He's gotta die quick. Hmm. be taking seven a shot on those or six a shot on those. That's brutal. Got some huge heals here. And I got not one. Not one. Ooh. This is going to be rough. Just getting real close. This is a close one. There we go. Nice. We managed to finish it off. Wow. That was super close. First aid, dispel, bleed. Yeah, that's going to be handy. That's going to be handy for sure. I'll take that. Ooh, what is this? Jeez. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Scroll of intellect. Yes, please. And prayer of healing. Yes, definitely. Nice. Awesome. We got levels here. We can pick uh, some levels. Some goodies here. That for some defense. Hmm. Let's do this. Defensive. Hmm. Let's do that. Definitely something to do with healing. Very good. And we will continue through, get some gear. Awesome. Good for you. Ooh. Take that. Is that a weapon for him there? Healing done, no. Resistance, body armor, speed, resistances. Let's do that for you. Nothing for you. And healing. Definitely healing for you. And here we get ready to cross the portal. But before we do, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in for this video. Don't forget to drop a like if you've enjoyed. Mention something about the game if you've tried it. Have you? Uh, if you haven't tried it, if you're going to be trying it as a result of seeing this video, let me know in the comments below. It's awesome interacting with you folks, 
And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.